you there. Stop where you are. Oh, say, I've seen you before. Yeah, from the tapestry. Well, you're the Avatar. Well, what do you know? The Avatar, here at my humble farm. I thought you were another thief come to take my radishes. Them poor folks kept coming here to steal food. Uh, it's a good thing the mayor sent them off to Paws. Why condemn those of ill fortune? We're not condemning them. We're helping them out. You see, if the poor are left here around people who have more than they do, well, they're tempted to steal because they see all the things that they don't have. But if they're sent off to Paul's where everybody is poor, the temptation to steal is taken away. See the logic? But what of compassion? Why, I'm the most compassionate of men. These outcasts are happy and content among their own kind. Farewell, Avatar. Sir, I must have ten gold pieces to pay my taxes. If I cannot pay, I will be sent away to pause. Please help me. What taxes do you have to pay? It's the charity donation, really. But they're, they're still taxes. Everyone is required to give 10 gold to charity every week. If you can't, then you are too poor and a drain on the economy, so you are sent to pause. Here's 10 gold. Spend it wisely. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir.
Hi, bucko. I'm gonna get me a bottle of rum and get pissed drunk. I'm sick of working today, mate. Would you like to join me? I'd love to, but I have a lot of traveling to do. Well then, traveling by ship is the only way to see Britannia. Of course, you'll be needing a ship's captain and all. Tell you what, mate. Why don't you stick around and have a drink? Who knows? If you stay here long enough, maybe you'll catch sight of her. What do you say? Care to stay here and get drunk? I'd love to, but Britannia is in danger. Oh, too good for the likes of me, huh? Well, shove off then. Eat, drink, and be merry. For tomorrow we may get dragged off to pause. Welcome, my also. I have some gems that you may be interested in. Anything else I can do for you? Nothing today, friend. Farewell. Farewell, then.
citizen. Hello. Pleasant weather we're having. Hello. Pleasant weather we're having. Unless you need to report someone, I'll have to ask you to move along. We've got a lot of sick and poor people who need to be transported to PAWS. Why don't you move along now?
passion be with you. Greetings, Avatar. I am Sarah, the keeper of the shrine. What's left of it, at mm. least. Surely you have been sent here to put things right. How did you know that I am the Avatar? I see much that is hidden to others, Avatar. I know who you are, and why you have come back to Britannia. You have come to heal the land and put things right. What do you mean, put things right? Oh, Avatar, surely you have seen how Britain has been corrupted. What was once the city of compassion has become a den of ruthless, selfish people. And Britain is not alone. All over Britannia, the virtues and the people who once followed them have been perverted. How have the virtues been perverted? Throughout Britannia, the cities that once championed the various virtues now practice acts that are contrary to the virtues. But the truly perverse part of it is that the people practice these horrible acts in the name of the virtues that they once upheld. Hence, we have people in Britain cruelly banishing invalids in supposed acts of compassion. Why is Britain so lacking in compassion? I am not sure of the cause. But I know one thing. The city lost its virtue when the shrine became corrupted. These occurrences cannot be a coincidence. I feel certain that if the shrine is cleansed, the city will return to its virtue. The shrine has been corrupted? Oh, yes. Where it was once pristine, it is now a ruin. You must go and see the shrine, Avatar. It is a tragic sight to behold. How does one cleanse the shrine? <sighs> I'm not sure. I'm certain that meditating at the shrine is part of the solution, but I also know that there is more. You should go and consult the shrine. Perhaps it will tell you, the champion of virtues, what it could not tell me. So I should meditate at the shrine? Oh, indeed. The shrine may reveal things to you that will help you on your quest. Just remember that the mantra for the shrine is Mu. Repeat that word during your meditation and it will aid you. What can you tell me about the columns? I know that they are evil. Shortly after their appearance, I had a dream in which I saw the columns erupt from the ground. My vision then took me deep into the dungeon of despise where I saw the column piercing into the deepest reaches of the dungeon. Finally, I saw the runes of the virtue being corrupted and twisted into evil glyphs. After that, my vision faded. I know nothing more than what my vision revealed to me, Avatar. How do I find the Dungeon of Despise? Take the road east of Britain. Follow the North Branch. The entrance to Despise lies in the mountains, next to the column which corrupts our land. What is a sigil? A sigil is the embodiment of a virtue. Each of the shrines has a corresponding sigil. The sigil of compassion was kept in the city but went missing just prior to the corruption of the shrine. If you can find the sigil, Avatar, I am certain that it will help you to cleanse the shrine. Goodbye, Sarah. Oh, I almost forgot. To get to the shrine, or whatever is left of it, just take this road a little farther to the east and follow the path into the mountains. Goodbye, Avatar. May the virtues guide you.
Avatar. It is I, Shamano. I'm glad to see that you have returned to Britannia. I fear that I will need your help to do the same. Shamano, where are you? I've been trapped in the spirit realm. Until I'm able to return to Britannia in physical form, I have to speak to you through these stones of spirituality. You will find them throughout the land. Speaking to you in this manner is very draining, so I'll be brief. A great deal has happened since you were last here. You are probably aware of the columns that have appeared. When they first came out of the ground, I felt that there was something very sinister about them. So I undertook a spiritual quest to learn more. I learned that a magical force of great power deliberately created the columns. There are eight columns, Avatar, and they are twisting the eight sacred virtues. They have turned compassion into hatred, justice into injustice, and so on. The people of the cities that represent the virtues have been corrupted by the column's influence. It's not their fault, Avatar. They're still good people. They just need your help to restore their ways. I must leave now, my friend. The tether that binds me to this world grows threadbare. There is more that I need to tell you, but it must wait. Shamino, wait! I need to ask you some questions. We'll talk again, Avatar. Farewell. Speak now the mantra of compassion. Who unlocks my mystery? Ah, son of sons, the Avatar. You have come to arrest the growth of the Guardian's columns that emerged from the eight dungeons. Gather you two important tools. Inside each dungeon is a glyph of corruption. Formerly a rune of virtue, but altered through evil magic. Find this glyph and couple it with the sigil, which embodies the virtues. The sigil of compassion is the sacred heart of compassion and resides with Britain's mare. Finally, place these items upon the altar in the center of the shrine and utter the sacred mantra. These two keys will allow the unknotting of corruption.
It is so good to see you. Oh, I wish that Yolo were here. I hope all is well with you. Where is Yolo? Oh, Avatar, I'm so worried about him. Lord British sent him down to Despise to investigate that column, and he hasn't come back. It's been a very long time now, and I'm worried. I told him that he was too old to be off exploring at all, let alone by himself. But he wouldn't listen to me. Do you think that you could look for him, Avatar? Can you tell me anything about the columns? I'm afraid that I don't know much about them. I do think that they're evil, though. There's something about them, and it's not good. The fact that it's so near despise is a clear indication to me that it's malevolent. What's it like inside despise these days? Well, I haven't been down there in ages, but I suspect that it hasn't changed too much. Despise has always been full of unpleasant monsters, but nothing too terrible. You'll run into a few giant spiders and whatnot, but I certainly don't think that you'll find any demons down there. Britain seems to have changed. They're sending the sick people to pause. Yes, but it's all for the best, really. Goodbye, Gwenno. Goodbye, Avatar. Ah, Avatar! On your way to the Dungeon of Despise. How did you know I was going to Despise? Well, it's just down the road a bit, and you being the Avatar, it just made sense that you'd be doing a bit of adventuring. Do you have any suggestions for what I'll need in Despise? Make sure you've got some good, sturdy armor and a strong sword. Some healing potions would help, and a bow is always a good idea. You're likely to run into all manner of beasts in that pit. Plus, you know what I always do before going down there. I go and meditate at the shrine for peace and wisdom. Farewell.